As of today, the majority of Utah is gonna be moving to a low risk level, and it's gonna allow many businesses to reopen, activities to resume, and life to feel somewhat normal again. We're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about what's opening, what's not opening, what rules you need to follow still, and how it's gonna affect you. Let's jump into it. As of today, the majority of the state is allowed to reopen and resume activities at a low risk level. Now, what this really means is that the state has a color coded system where you've got red, which is high risk, orange is moderate risk, yellow is low risk, and then green is gonna be the new normal. So they've now decreased it from the orange moderate risk level down to the yellow low risk level. But there are some exceptions. There are a couple of counties and even a couple of cities that are not going to be reduced down to this yellow level. They're going to remain at the orange orange level. I'm going to be talking about what this means for you and the important thing here to note is that we were at a red level when we were locked down. Everybody was kind of, you know, sheltering in place and there wasn't much happening here in the state. Most of the businesses were closed. Only the essential business was continuing to operate. Then on May 1st, they moved it to an orange level, which was moderate risk where they still had some restrictions and they had a lot of guidelines and protocols as to what you can and can't do if you're running or operating a business. Now moving to the shallow level is gonna allow most businesses to reopen and activities to resume. Now there are gonna be restrictions in place still under this new level, but it's gonna allow youth sports to continue. A lot of businesses will be able to reopen, including everything from restaurants to barbershops to nail salons. And this is a process that's been a long time coming. A lot of the Southern counties here in Utah were pushing to get moved to a yellow status weeks ago, but they were being denied by the state. They had fewer cases down at the Southern end of the state, but they wanted to keep everybody on the same level of precautions, just because, you know, to be honest with you, this virus, it doesn't care about county lines. It doesn't care about city lines. It goes wherever it needs to or wherever it can. So that was the state's decision at the time to not allow these other counties and cities to get back to the yellow status until just today. But there are a few counties and cities who are not going to be moving to the yellow level. The two cities are gonna be downtown Salt Lake City and West Valley City. And the three counties are gonna be Summit County, Wasatch County, and Grand County. Wasatch and Summit Counties are the areas where you have Park City and Heber City, and Grand County is where you're gonna find Moab. So these three counties, as well as the two cities, do have a higher number of cases still going on, and they haven't seen those numbers come down just yet. So they are going to keep those counties and those cities at the orange level of risk. Now, one of the interesting things that actually happened is that the Salt Lake County mayor actually petitioned to the governor of Utah to say, hey, we wanna keep Salt Lake County at this orange risk for at least another week, and they actually shut it down. They said, no, we're gonna move it to a yellow risk. We think that the testing is there, we think that the tracing and figuring out where these cases are coming from and how to combat them, we think that that is strong enough that we can move this to a yellow level. And because of that, they've left it up to these cities, which includes Salt Lake City proper and West Valley City to remain under the orange level. They said, hey, we think that the majority of the county is okay to move to this yellow risk level where the most of the county can get back to normal life, but we do want to keep Salt Lake City proper and West Valley City under an orange level of moderate risk. Now under this yellow level of risk, like I said, all businesses are gonna be able to reopen, team sports will be able to resume, and there's gonna be gatherings of up to 50 people allowed. It's worth noting that the schools will remain closed for now. At this point, the school year is pretty much over, so none of the schools are gonna be going back into session. Some of the summer schools may or may not, even though a lot of them have moved online, and I think they're gonna defer the coming school year until later in the summer when they have a better idea of how this thing is actually progressing. It is still important to note though that for anybody who is elderly or immunocompromised that it's still going to be a high risk level out there. You should still be extra careful if you are in one of those categories. And when it comes to outdoor activities, a lot of the recreational parks are opening back up and allowing people to come and play. This includes a lot of the national parks and it includes parks like the Little Sahara, which is where it's very common to go and ride dirt bikes, for instance. They are taking extra precautions by having people spread out and by practicing social distancing still. So things haven't really changed. You are still encouraged to wash your hands, use masks, use gloves, things like that whenever you are around people. But for the most part, life is gonna be getting back to normal here 
And for me, I personally can't wait. Summertime is just around the corner and it's such a fun time to be here in Utah. There's so much to do outdoors and I can't wait to go and enjoy some of this nice weather myself. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. If you're thinking about making a move here, get in touch with me, call me, text me, or email me. Get a hold of me any way that you need to so we can have a chat about the type of home and lifestyle that you're looking to have when you make your move here to Utah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I release a ton of videos about what it's like to live here in Salt Lake City and you don't want to miss a thing. Last but not least, give me a thumbs up here on this video. It helps me know that you like the content that I'm putting out and I'll catch you in the next one.